Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating new coupon. So let's see how can we create the new coupon. First of all, uh, go to the admin controller. So let's open the admin controller here. App HTTP controllers. And let's open this one, admin controller. And now let's create a function here. Public function and function name coupon underscore add all right and now I return our view add here the view name let's say view name is admin dot coupon dash add okay now let's create the a route for this function so go to the routes php and here let's create a new route we get slash admin slash uh, coupon slash add okay and now add here the controller name admin controller colon colon plus add here the function name which is uh, let's copy the function name coupon underscore add okay now give the route name admin dot coupon dot add Okay, now let's copy this route name and save save the file. And now go to the coupons view. So just go inside the resources directory, views, and uh, let's open. I'm just going to the admin folder and let's open this one coupons.data.php. And inside this file, let's add here the link uh, here. Let's remove this. And add a double curly packet route and route name which is this one admin dot coupon dot add okay now save this and now let's create the view coupon dash add so copy this and go to the resources admin folder and here create a new file coupon dash add dot blade.php okay and now add here the layout so nature extends layout star admin and the section and section name content and close the section so right here in section and now go to the template directory and here from here let's open this one add coupon.html file so right click and open with visual studio code and now let's find the main this one okay now let's copy this one main content inner so collab this and select this div and copy and paste inside this content section Okay, now let's add here the dashboard link. So right here, route admin dot index, and here coupons link. So route admin dot coupons. All right, now this is the input field for the coupon code and here is the type coupon type select control input field for the value coupon value and this is for cart value and here is for expiry date okay and uh, now inside the value let's add here double curly bracket old and this name code 
Now let's copy this and inside the uh, this value, just write right here, paste here, and also paste here. And now change the column name, expiry date, cart value, and here the value. Okay. Now go to the admin controller and let's create our function for restoring the coupon. So right here public function and function name coupon underscore restore. Okay, now add here the validation. So write right here request and also pass here the request dollar request okay then request arrow to validate and inside the big packet just add here the code which is required Okay, and then for type, it's also required field. Now let's copy and paste three times and change here the column name uh, value, then cart underscore value. And last one expiry date okay this is the number field so right here pipe sign and then numeric okay so let's copy and paste inside this and for the expiry date just right here date validation Okay, now add here the semicolon and now after the validation, let's create a coupon object. So right here coupon is equal to new coupon and then coupon code type value and the last one expiry date. So you part a value. So right here, coupon underscore part value is equal to dollar request arrow part value. Okay, and now it's it. Okay, after this, let's save the coupon, and now. Uh, return the direct to the coupons page okay with the status like this and uh, the exclamation sign is in the part okay return the direct about admin dot coupons and uh, send with this status message coupon has been added successfully now save this and now go to the web.php and let's create uh, a route here route column column post where I had been coupon slash store there is the controller name admin controller column column class function name coupon underscore store and now give the route name admin dot coupon dot store okay now save this now let's copy this route name and uh, go to the coupon add blade.php file 
and inside this action just add here route and paste here the route name this one admin dot coupon dot store and inside the form just add here affiliate csrf okay and now for displaying the validation message just add here and we need error and inside this just pass here the name of the input field which is code then add here the span tag span class alert alert danger okay and align the text center so right here text center class now close this suspend tag and inside this just to display a error message so in my double curly bracket just write here message and now close the uh, error directive so right here hint error now let's copy this and paste here for the type so change here the name type value and part value part underscore value and then last one is expiry date okay All right, now for uh, displaying the success message uh, inside the coupons.play.php file uh, before this table, let's add here, just copy uh, from here, categories.play.php file, uh, let's copy this two line, okay, this one, and inside the coupons.play.php file, just paste before this table. Okay, if session has status, then uh, simply show here the alert message. Okay, and here just close the interactor. Now it's done. Okay, so let's check. So switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Okay, and now click on add new. This is the uh, coupon form okay and now add the coupon code let's say of 10 uh, coupon type is a fixed coupon value it's a 10 dollar okay and card folly uh, card value if when applied uh, if card value is equal to or greater than 100 okay and now expiry date of the coupon let's say add here the 31st July okay now save and you can see here the message coupon has been added successfully and here is the coupon okay now let's add one more this time without entering any value just click on save okay, it's required Now let's add here the coupon code of 30 coupon type um, it's a percent coupon volume value let's enter here any uh, characters okay and card value value it's hundred one fifty dollar okay and expiry date thirty first now click on save and you can see here the validation message the value field must be a number okay so the standard area value let's say 30 now click on save okay it's required so i have the percent save and you can see here value created
so in this way you can create new new coupon so that's all about creating the new coupon so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching